So check out this intersection. It's going to be a tougher turn. Lots of traffic over here. Wow, look at that. So confident. Amazing. FSD can do this here in Sunsun. He can do this in any Southeast Asian city. Well, here in China today, for the first time, we'll experience FSD supervised in this country. We tried it before in the United States, and now, for this time, we get to try it in busier, more dynamic streets in China. I'm going to put my backpack behind, and our videographer is going to join us in the back as well. Okay, so you can see right now, we're here in a Chinese Tesla. The user interface is in Mandarin. And what's going to happen next is, once we get into proper streets, we'll try FSD supervised. One reason why we're on manual drive is also because of this payment gantry over time. As FSD supervised improves, then it can drive past gantries for us. Now you can see, with the blue line and the rainbow road, the car is on FSD supervised. This is the first time experiencing FSD supervised here in China. A lot of people were really skeptical, would it come to Asia? And it's finally here for the past few weeks. Look at how the car navigates in front. Tight traffic. You see motorcycles, motorbikes ahead of us. Lots of cars. So another car on the left trying to turn in. These are busy roads on a large Chinese city. And it's not easy to navigate even with vehicles like this. So you notice the car's camera expertly tracking everything around us. Navigating a route. So we're going to have a short 14 minute route to our destination, just 3.7 kilometers away. Now at any time, the car will make sure that with the attention monitoring camera, that the driver's eyes are forward. So it's a bit more restrictive. Now the driver's hands do not need to be on the steering wheel. So the hands are freer, but the eyes will be attention monitoring. So check out this intersection. It's going to be a tougher turn. Lots of traffic over here. Wow, look at that. So confident. Amazing. FSD can do this here in Sunsun. He can do this in any Southeast Asian city. Again, this is a complex environment with pedestrians, bikes, cars. We are approaching a roundabout. Let's see how it does. For friends in Singapore, you may notice, you see? Look at that, the, the, the bike there. There are Malayans in front here in Sunsun. Four Malayans watering the fish. And there you go, you see? A very safe follow distance from the bike ahead of us. So confident, so human-like. Now, the driver's foot is not on the accelerator or the brake. The hands are not on the steering wheel. The car is doing everything right now. Look at that. It knows to keep to the correct lane because this is a left turn lane. So this lane is going straight. And you can see it stops. Here's a good opportunity. The blue plates in Chinese cities represent internal combustion engine vehicles. Teslas like this have the green plate and the government's trying to get more people to buy hybrids and pure EVs with the green plate, making these cars a lot more affordable. And China has one of the world's most affordable prices for Teslas. This Model 3 is roughly around under 30,000 US dollars, one of the best prices to get the Model 3. And the refreshed Model Y is selling really well in China. I think News on X has said that more than 200,000 orders for the new Model Y. And you can see traffic is continuing. Get a nice bird's eye view of the intersection. Beautiful. And look at how it follows. We're going to make a left turn next. In China, it even detects how long the red light has to go. So 120 seconds, 2 minutes. That's so useful. I wish that this came to every other market in the world. Now you may notice in front of us, bikes, pedestrians. There is a lot going on. This is another busy intersection. 
and the car's cameras can detect cars as far as that corner here, but people, bikes on our right, everywhere all around us. And at any time, the human can maneuver and showcase everything around you, even this large bus behind us on the rear right. Look at this. People always say, oh, North America roads are wide, not much pedestrian traffic, not much bikes. This is as close to most typical Asian cities as you can get. Pedestrians, bikes, small, large vehicles, traffic from all corners. So you notice here, you see 63 seconds. It syncs with the, the timer on top there. Such a great, useful feature in China to just feature time on traffic lights. You see people running, getting their dinner, crossing the roads. So in just 45 seconds, we will make a left turn. We're just two and a half kilometers away. And now people talk about range anxiety. Look, at this car is at 20% and it can still go. You can see at 20% state of charge, we still have about 86 km remaining. The Chinese user interface has a lot more additional user interface elements that we may not see in other countries yet. I'm just so excited because FSD supervised working here means it can work across Asia, across the rest of the world, and it will only get better through more and more software updates. Okay, lights turning green. Let's see what happens. There we go. Very clean left turn. You see pedestrians all over us. Super impressive. I'm just mind blown because it's one thing to see this in Austin. It's one thing to see this in New York City. Seeing it here in Shenzhen with all of these kind of traffic. Wow. I am sold. Let me know what you think down in the video comments. And you can see again, the red light turning green right now. Very good, safe follow distance. See, EVs have the green plate in front of us. So the car in front is an EV. And the car creeps forward together with the rest of the traffic, following the traffic around us. Roads in China are also quieter because more and more EVs are on the road. You'll see more green plates along the passing years. This chime means driver either in a hand or eyes pay attention. It's just to monitor because while the technology is very good, it's not perfect yet. So the human's always going to take over in an emergency. Amazing navigation in this really tough road. You can see that some cars are not even signaling left and right when they're trying to get into a lane. So we're navigating forward another 400 meters. On our right, you see a train station here in Shenzhen. Another EV in front of us. You see a lot of BYDs in Shenzhen because this is the headquarters of BYD. So BYD employs more than 690,000 employees here. And of course, Tesla has their main manufacturing in Shanghai, in Giga Shanghai. So all of these cars that we see here come from the Shanghai factory. I hope we get a chance to tour Giga Shanghai one day because our team has been so fortunate to tour Giga Berlin, Giga Texas, Fremont Factory. Giga Shanghai would be a dream. So let's continue building our dreams towards Giga Shanghai. And right now, traffic is going ahead, going straight down. This is a busy weekend night. There's pedestrians, there's bikes, and there's a lot of cars. And the green light is turning red. So in China, before it turns red, there's a three seconds of yellow to get cars to stop. Now, this has been such an impressive ride of FSD supervised in China. Thank you so much to the Tesla China team for the opportunity to experience this. They've been very kind and I look forward 
to all of us supporting the Tesla team around the world. This has been a tough time, especially in North America. For those of us who believe in the mission, buy a Tesla, buy a Cybertruck, buy a Model 3, buy a new Model Y. And if you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. Signing off from Sensen.